Hey boys and girls, today we are going to cut and glue our shapes, creating a collage of a beautiful building of your design. Now, let's go over some simple shapes to cut for your collage. Your pieces of paper are going to be like this. When we cut, of course, the easiest shape to start with is a handy dandy square. We can cut some nice squares. We can cut some handy dandy rectangles. Now if you want to cut a triangle, find the flat side of your paper. Take your scissors and cut up one side. Turn, cut up the other side. Easy peasy boys and girls. Cut up one side, cut up the other side. Another interesting way to make triangles is by cutting a square and then cutting that square in half. Now, instead of two super skinny triangles, I have these wide flat triangles, both of which I can use on my collage. Another interesting shape you can cut are semicircles. Remember, that's a shape that looks like a circle's been sliced in half. To make a semicircle, I take my scissors, I find a flat bottom again, and I turn and cut, turn and cut, turn and cut, and go all the way back down just like I was drawing or cutting a rainbow. Now I have a semicircle. Today is a wonderful day to use scrap pieces. Here I have this semicircle that I've already cut, but now I can use the other side and I can cut a bridge for my building. In the same way, if you find a scrap piece that's already been cut on, you can totally use it to cut your shapes. Now, after we cut our shapes, boys and girls, of course, we are going to want to glue them on our paper. I'm going to take my tap glue. Remember, this is not twisty glue. This is tapping glue. I'm going to push the tip onto my paper. Ooh, what a nice little dot. I'm going to take my shape that I have cut and I'm gonna stick it on top. Remember, we want to build from the bottom and stack them up and up and up and up, just like we were making a real building. As you can see, boys and girls, I have been working hard cutting and gluing my shapes and stacking them on top of each other building my building. But if I use teensy, weensy, teeny, tiny little shapes, then you can see, boys and girls, it is going to take forever to fill up this paper, okay? We want to use different sizes, but also we want to use shapes that's going to fill up our paper. Last but not least, boys and girls, we do not want to forget the sun. Now, the sun is what shape? If you said circle, kiss your brain, you might be thinking, ah, I don't know how to make a circle, Miss Haynes. But don't worry, I'm going to show you a handy dandy trick. If you take a square, if you take your scissors, if you cut the corners off of that square, turning it just slightly as I cut, then voila, you have yourself a circle. I'm gonna take my tap glue, I'm gonna push and squeeze, push and squeeze, dot, dot, not a lot. And there is my sign. 